Tello, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK, man. Right behind me, y'all. You see it? A little warning screen. Because it might get hectic. I don't know. Don't forget, though, we are on Twitch.com. Go to Twitch.com. That's where you can catch a live stream. Username's at the bottom of the screen. You see it. Uh, we also got Patreon. We post five days per week. This is having a shocker. Having a shocker been dropping bomb. Like, he been dropping fire lately. Like, good content. Good captivating stuff. You know what I'm saying? Ireland's illegal immigrant crisis documentary. Talk to me. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Fifteenth of July, Kulak Riot, Dublin, Carnage. The government plans to house up to 500 illegal immigrants in a disused factory here. The people's response: Should be ashamed of yourselves. Gas fucking part. Someone like me. I have a love and a loyalty to this country. I wanted to join the guard. I had that motivation in me. I wanted to join the army. I had that motivation in me to protect and serve. No. The batterings will continue until the plantation is complete. We've already done it once before. The British Empire. 800 years we stood up against them in defiance. Forced plantation. Genocided from our own villages. Scattered to the four corners of the earth. What's going on, mate? Oh my God, what, wait, hold on. Ireland is already going through a lot. Now we got. Uh, well, Kulak says now is what's going on. There's, they're trying to build refugee centers for uh, illegal men who are coming into this country. Yeah. And we're not having it. Kulak says no, not a chance. And they're spraying little children, elderly women. It's a disgrace is what's happening here. That's what's happening at the moment. Yeah, straight as to this country is what they are. Where will I see your pictures? Yeah. No, they're one of the You're alright, boss. Can I ask you your, your, oh, mate, your opinion? Stay away with me. Stay away with me. Stay away with me. English, whatever you're from. You're not welcome here in Ireland. F off. Ireland for the Irish. Right? Faz, you heard it there. Very tense. Yeah, it's going to be tough, man. It's going to be tough to ask any type of questions right now to, to anybody. The situation, man. This is crazy. I have no idea like this is even going on. Uh, it's a riot. And, um, and what's, what's like the cause of the riot? Uh, I don't know. The refugees are in the country and they want them all out. They want them all out. Yeah. So wh where do they want to put them? Back to their own country. Back to their own yeah. country. So yourself as like an Irish citizen, are you willing to go to war for this country? Oh, I'm going to go over and get pepper spray myself in a minute, you know what I mean? You have to do it a bit, like, definitely. <laughs> Once again, man, I cannot have an opinion on what people want done in their areas. I know Ireland is very small. You know what I'm saying? I am part Irish, dude. Like y'all think I'm playing when I say that? I'm not. I'm dead. I'm really part Irish. So um, it's like I know it's small. <laughs> I know most people don't want people like there because it's small. It's overpopulation. It's getting crowded. People do this, people do that. They don't understand what's going on. I get that. But as an American, the American side too is, you know, because it's, I, and I know America's way bigger, you know, so it's like, on my opinion, it's like, it's like, whatever, let them slide, you know. But I can't help, but I can't help it. It, 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 it's, it's, it's kind of coming off as something else. Like, especially when the other dude just yelled at him, it's coming off as 
something else. It's coming off as a hate for another group of people. It's coming off as that. But I understand the, the other reasons as well. But that portion came off as something else. Uh, how have you seen uh, Ireland change over the uh, recent years? It's unsafe to walk the streets. I had to, my daughter was walking in town, and I had to stay on the phone to her till she got on the bus in town because of all gangs and migrants hanging around corners and all the streets in town. And I actually had to wait till she got on the bus to so make sure she was safe. That's two years ago, and it's it's got a lot worse since then. Right, okay. It's a lot worse in every area now. Does people going around trying to grab kids does just everyone's in fear yeah. of their kids lives and see now this is the part from this lady i understand this i understand it people don't understand the, the rules that the government have set in place coming from other places they think it's just x y and z you can come do whatever i understand that <laughs> so it's just the way lives, buddy was the way buddy said it I ain't like it. Mm. That's what's happening. And this is the culmination of it today with people protesting and then the guards get heavy handed, pepper spray, pushing people and it gets out of hand. Yeah, I, I actually got hit with the with the riot shield and I'm just taking pictures. There you go. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's, not, it's not right what's happening. I mean, if they, we, we, we we delighted to help people in from war torn countries. Yeah. But these are these don't seem to be men, women and children. They're single men that have no documentation. We don't know if they're illegal immigrants. We don't know if they're, they're criminals. We don't know. See, now this is she's breaking it down to an understandable level. Like, yes, that is understandable. One hundred percent. And that's why I'd be like, hold on now. Slow up. Let's 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 you know what I'm saying. Let's do it the right way <clears throat> for sm such a small place. Like it needs to be done the right way. Um, but the way, buddy, I, I'm still stuck on that. The way he just did that to uh, do the way he talked to him. He said, "Wherever you're like, what?" what? And our government isn't telling us. Make sure you're out here for the right reasons and not just to perpetuate your own racist agenda. And that's how I felt dude was coming off. I don't feel like from this lady, though. <clears throat> or the two girls that were speaking. The communication there. If we knew more about them and knew why they wanted to stay here and come here, then we mightn't be protesting. And the Irish people have always had truth on their side. Yeah, because as Pierce said, God fights with small battalions. That's a true patriot, man. That's a true patriot. Can't show all of the footage on YouTube, but the full uncensored version will be out on my Patreon for as little as one pound. That's a true patriot, man. That's a true patriot. What the f is going on, man? Pe people are actually wow. throwing fireworks and shit, man. I never been to any anything like this. Like even when they had him in Chicago, I, I never went. Okay, no. I had other stuff happening, but like, I I get the patriotism of it all in this con current situation. But there's, you know what I'm saying. say and obviously i mean I feel like that's the same guy it's just ignorance on some people's behalf but like filming this video as a brown person i think this is the most it's rough dangerous it's very stupid rough. thing i've ever done yeah you out there on another level of braveness just for the fact of i can see pure hatred in people's eyes looking at me and i'm from england and i had no choice in being born there so hardly an illegal immigrant but you just see color and you you don't see uh you see, and that's what I'm talking about. It's the people like that 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 that's not even really even trying to pay attention. Like, if you just stop for a second and hear bro talk, you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on now. And see the story behind the color. You're all right, boss. I'm making a little story today. Can I see your opinion about what's going on? 
I don't live. I'm just living here. So I say nothing. I don't know. I, I, I think it's the government's made a mistake in thinking they could put in. Five, it's a 500 people? 5,000. 5,000? 5,000, yeah. And they're all men. Yeah. Dirty men. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is 5,000 all men? Yeah, nah. See, nah, yeah, yeah, nah, I feel it. I feel it. That's a problem. That's a problem. All men, women, children. Okay, undocumented women, children. C cool. But men, you got to do a little something different. Like, I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to say nothing about nothing, but like, come on now. Absolutely crazy. Crazy. So like yourself, uh, would you class yourself as like patriotic for this country? Oh yeah, but <laughs> I, I kind of have a, it's a divided sort of opinion about the, whether it's right or whether it's wrong. And I'm not grouping all, all men as, doing x y and z but like at the same time like there's got to be some type of filtration system to make sure like now i get them y'all putting those five thousand in this place but to do to do what are you going to screen them while they're there and if it's if it's if it's cool cool if not then do what y'all do have to do or what yeah what they're doing yeah. maybe they're right but there's no, there's no way. The government is pretty good, bad of the government's the way they decided to do. Uh, it's, it's, I haven't said we're taking fifty thousand and that's it. Yeah, yeah. And nobody else has that. Yeah. I mean, then people in without without passports or anything. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. So, so like, do you think it's an impending civil war here? Oh God, well, it, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. Very volatile situation that appears to be. Okay. Thanks for, thanks for your time, man. I'm going to go off down okay. there, man. Take care. Thank you. And I feel like some people are just ready to kick off from from previous stuff anyway. So they're just going to use this. You know what I'm saying? There's good people out here that are asking valuable questions, valid questions. And then there's people who's out here just who are really racist probably. And then there's people out here just using this as a catalyst to kick off what they the feelings that they still have in the past. You know what I'm saying? So there's there's a lot of are you out here for the right reasons type is in the energy. And that's what all all situations like this, like riot type situations or, or not riot but like gatherings or wherever it turns into what was your name boss Tom. so tom's telling me here that the situation that's kicked off today is there's two thousand migrants living in it's quite a small area tom yeah yeah no it's not two thousand migrants but there's the potential to be that many T potential to be two, two hotels where there's but quite a lot and then the capacities of that is between 1,000 and 1,200 in the ex uh, Crown Paints factory. Now, the authorities are saying that we're only going to move in 500, but they're yeah. building infrastructure that can hold a lot more. So, so people are saying, we, we don't know what's going on. So, the, so they're building the infrastructure there for 2,000 migrants to move into this area, and obviously the, the locals... You see what I'm saying, though? Can you see, like, the, the, the difference in, like, there's people that are actually talking to him, like... And then there's a couple people that just out here just see him and, like, go red, like... Like I got it, you know what I'm saying. Like, uh, I'm not just gonna sit by and, and watch it happen. So I don't blame him, you know. I don't. I don't blame you guys being out here. Yeah, it's it's people are like it's 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 still known of it. They're, it's not. It's who are these people? What yeah. are they gonna do? You know. It's, it's, it's a people with left with nothing to do. Yeah. In an area where it, that's where there's already a lack of facilities and services. It's one of the most. Yeah, uh, yeah. See, see, these are valid concerns. There's already a lack of services and there's already a lack of opportunity and our current, the people here are already feeling that, you know what I'm saying? So imagine you bring somebody from somewhere else that don't know nothing about it and there's nothing to do, they're bored, they, they got to get some money, they got to feed, they feel like, they get, get rough. These are valid concerns. Like underprivileged areas in Dublin. Right. And this yeah, is yeah, yeah. And then putting them in underprivileged areas to make it more like, 
I can, I can see the concern. Where they're sticking all the people. They don't stick them in the nice areas. They stick them in places like this where there's no funding at all, where people are on their knees and then they're sticking these people in. It's just going to cause hate. And we're not a racist country, but it is going to be, it's going to cause racism. It's, yeah, man. And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to cause a, a big divide because they don't want people looking at the government. <laughs> they want people, once you're looking at anyone else instead the of the government, screen. they don't care who it is. They don't care if it's someone on the north side of Dublin or versus the south side of Dublin or Irish people versus uh, immigrants. Once the eye isn't on the government, that's all they care about. Yeah, man. It's a dividing rule. It's been happening since Roman times, since, since Mesopotamian times. It's been going on the whole time and it's the same thing unraveling again. How, how do you think the situation today is uh, unfolded in the way it has? No comment, please. I, I don't want to be video. Thank you. But like, if you could improve the situation in Ireland, what would you do, boss? I can't improve the situation as one man. I can't do anything about that. I can't offer comment on that. All I'm here is to do my job and do what I'm told to do, unfortunately. I can't offer any comment. And are you, are you patriotic? As the clash. He, dude can't really answer, not on video. Like, this video got 150,000 views. <laughs> Bro would have been fired. And Kulak continues. It's no clear what he said. people here feel migrants are put before their own community. To understand these frustrations, I spoke with Gary, who's been on and off the streets for a number of years. Here's what he had to say about the situation. What What do you think about the situation about people coming here from like Algeria, uh, Afgan Afghanistan? No, they shouldn't be here. Look, I'm not being bad and saying that they shouldn't be here. I just as Ireland needs to start looking after their own. Their own, you know what I mean? Like start. See now I can I hear that. I hear that. If you're not looking out for your own people, if you not if you're not right with yourself, how can you how can you dare bring somebody else in and be like, Oh yeah, let us help? Like you're not even good yourself. And that's like, 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 that's period in life in general. Like, that's why you should stay single. If you're not all the way right up here and you don't have your, you don't love yourself enough, how can you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend? It's just self sabotaging. <laughs> you could misery loves company. It's just going to get worse. It's going to make it worse for both of y'all at this one point. I hear this. Housing us, us, not everyone else. Right? I'm in my life. I'm on that housing this year, years. Yeah, I, like you can't walk down the street and there'd be a thousand homeless people in tents that are that are citizens, but offer housing to. It's that that's a tough pill to swallow. That's that's like dang, that's a slap in the face. You know what I'm saying? Now, granted, people should be out there getting their own money, doing their own thing, but you know some of the opportunities are not afforded. Some people miss misstep in life. You know what I'm saying? But oh. People are getting prioritised before us. And, um, How do you feel about that, Stevie? How do I feel about it? How do I feel about it? Yeah, really? Listen, you don't want me to say how I oh, feel about it. I swear to God. So, so, Gary, what, what, do you, what do you think about the, the migrant situation in Dublin? The migrant situation in Dublin is a f***ing joke. It's a joke. They're walking through the borders, there's a tent everywhere. Like, how can you give migrants a tent? To live in a tent. What 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 European country in the EU, the Geneva Convention, anything like that, gives people a tent to live in in a cold city? Yeah. Right? So so you think they should get housed? No. 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 It's not we. It's not we, bro. Here, listen, bro. Oh, half these home. people, half half oh, these sure. people, yeah, they got sent from England to here. They did, yeah. Here you know, your mum, Rishi, he was after being moved out, no, being prime minister from England, yeah. But half the people in this f***ing country, yeah, they got moved from England to here. And do you know why we allow them here? Because our government are full of shit and they're f***ing pussies. That's no. what they are. Is they're that, a bunch it, it, of is that Is that because the Rwanda thing? No. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. they were government getting... Yeah. are yes. a bunch yes. of f***ing albums. Yes. They don't. Yes. They will no. not stick yes. up. Right, and it's the Rwanda thing. You know what's crazy? I just seen Backpacker, not Backpacker, Ben, um, bought and bankrupt in Rwanda, and I seen the title of his video, and I don't know what's going on with that. I might have to, you know what I'm saying? Check it out. 
<laughs> and it is because you know what's happening. England are sending everyone to like all their immigrants, uh, all, all the illegal immigrants to Rwanda. That is right, right, it right. And let immigrants into Ireland. I don't go look not against that. Them day people have been through f***ing horrific oh, things. Oh, like, yeah. horrific. Facts, facts, facts. He speak. Gary, see, Gary knows the plot. Gary speaking facts. Okay, come on, keep, let's keep talking, Gary. Horrific yeah, yeah, things horrific, in yeah. their countries, yeah, yeah, but hilarious. make it legal, not illegal. Yeah. Don't let them just run through our borders. Cause our borders, like if you get to Northern Ireland from England, you can just walk to Ireland's border, and then you oh. get a tent, and you're an asylum seeker, and then that's it. Yeah, and then there's thousands of them now in this country that are ahead of thousands oh, of never mind people like us. Young flits like us, there's families, there's I'm pregnant girls. No, 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 just the listen. Families, yeah. There's pregnant women yeah. and, and uh, okay. like families. Gary, I hear you. Gary, I hear you, boy. Gary is talking. Gary is talking. Y'all need to give Gary a mic. Y'all need to see Gary is making a great sense of it. <laughs> he said, forget us. There's families, there's pregnant women who can't get housing, and y'all putting their, their priority very, very low on the totem pole. I hear that, Gary. I can hear you loud and clear. Man, my whole opinion, man, never give somebody violent a voice. Because everything is going to come off extreme. You know what I'm saying? And Gary got it, though. And proper families, even if they're from probably Greece or... In Algeria, but I here 20 years or whatever, and they're doing homeless. I live here 23 years. I had hap, like I had houses, okay, I, I had everything. I, my landlord sold his oh, house, I'm... and I became homeless. Oh. All right, bro. I'll go, go cook there if anyone's looking. Huh? Go cook if anyone's looking. Yeah. No. Where are you from, bro? What? Where are you from? Ireland. Where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Ireland. <laughs> you mad bastard. <laughs> You're not from Ireland. Oh, I am from Ireland, bro. I swear to God, I am. You sound like you actually sound a bit Irish for you. Half Irish. Oh, yeah, half Irish. You look for cook? No, no, I'm alright, bro. No worries, bad. Don't throw the finger at people. Why? <laughs> you threw the finger at you, yeah. No, like, say, bro, you remember, fuck off. I would have shook the hand and said, you'd say goodbye. Yeah, yeah. Any change hands, please? Any change? Honestly, I have absolutely no. Absolutely no. Right, we're doing a docker, right? And I'm from Dublin, yeah? And how bad is it? Tell him how bad it is. Tell this man Terrible. how bad it is. Look at that thing I have. I got... I know. Planted up the lane and my money taken out. You know what I love, eh? Why oh, look way on the crack, the gear, the heroin? No, I'm on the methadone. The methadone? Three tablets. So... Are you okay? What's your name? Tenor. What's your name? Tenor. What? Your name's not a tenor. No, my name's Sabrina. Sorry. <laughs> so your name's not a tenor. Sorry. How are your name's tenor? Stop, man. Even if I got business, I swear. Uh, you get it somewhere. You know, I promise you, you get it somewhere. Hello, lovely. My name's Gary M. I promise you. Life will walk out one day. I promise you. Hey. Yeah. Hey. No one's giving me. Not even gonna lie, Gary, you done turned this into Rizzler. You the Gary the Rizzler. I promise you, if I can get some, I'm homeless too. I live out with this bike. I'm homeless too. I'm, I live in the shed. I'm homeless too. Me? No, I'm okay. Do you want a crisp? I'm okay. So, I'll even take one. That's yeah. how nice of one we are. Good choice of Rizzler. I'm homeless too, yeah. Chris. Right? Seriously. Gary, you looking for love or what? But I'm just saying, put your head up, okay? And then what's going on? Don't be sad, okay? Because things will happen. Good things will happen, yeah? Okay? Thank you. No, I'm tapping here, please. Tanya, I'm just Gary's frustrations are shared by many who feel overlooked. But what about the migrants themselves? To understand the other side of this complex issue, I spoke with two migrants about their experiences and struggles to stay in Ireland. So, what was like the original reason the that you wanted to come to Ireland, mate? 
because of I was uh, the LGBTQ. I was thinking when I come to Ireland, I will be safe and have a better place to stay and uh, uh, do my things because I know. One thing about Ireland, they do got a heavy LGBT community. He came for that reason. It's, oh my God! Yeah, his country that that is a sentence of. You know what I'm saying? Country, uh, they hate LGBTQ and uh, even your families hate you because if you do that. So I came to Ireland because I was thinking when I come here, I'm safe for when I, as a LGBT guy like me, as a gay guy. I'll be safe here. That's why I came. So, so like in in your own country, like you you could. Bro literally left his country so he can be himself. Not even gonna hold you. That's sad. Bro couldn't even be himself in his home country. And a lot of a lot of you know. Just imagine that. Like most people here, that are in that his situation. They're worried about coming out of the closet to their family. They're a prisoner in their own house. Bro was a prisoner of an, in his country because of it. That's tough. You're at risk of being like killed or attacked because you're you're gay. Yeah, well, you're going to be attacked, and when you're walking to the town, you cannot even you don't have a peace of mind. Everywhere you go, finger is pointing at you, and uh, the youth in the communities who they are who are homophobia, they can attack you any times and even people are not going to allow their family to come too close to you we are not talking with some even when you see a guy talking with hey he's going to fuck your ass when you say this that's what they're going to say it's a gay he's a gay guy they are going to and even as they told me they said they are going to put a stake on my and my ass that's what they told me so what what's your what's your plan now that you're in ireland my plan is that I was thinking they are going to process me and give me a place to stay. And then High Island will turn to my home to stay now. Because as a gay guy, uh, I know that Island accepted a uh, gay. When you are a gay guy, you are free to walk and do everything you like here. So I shall move to Island. I, know I, don't, I don't have any money with me, nothing. I came with no money. And uh, I went to the international uh, home office to help me to able. I was thinking they're going to help me with a uh, place to stay. They give me, they register me, they give me a brew ID by actually, they leave me on the streets and I don't have nowhere to go. I was carrying my luggage, walking around, and uh, I don't know what to do now. I sell all my things before coming here. But the money I got from inside, that's what I use to pay to able to board to come to here. So I try. I don't have nothing again. I don't have nothing with me. Yeah. And you cannot go to somebody in front of somebody gate and sleep. I am feeling cold. Ireland is freeze. And where can you stay? I think uh, for me, I think I want to give a message to the African, my African brothers. It's like uh, when we come here, what we expect, we expect the land of honey. It's not like that when you come to Europe, you're seeking Islam whatsoever. It's not what you think or it's not what we think like we are expected here, yeah, these people want us. It's not like that. They don't want us, uh, not in a bad way, in a good way because uh, I've been around with Dante, I've meeting local people. That's when I started to understand it, how this thing is, how they feel. For example, we're at the park. Uh, we saw a park, a fountain with dirty water, no fish in it. It's supposed to be a nice fountain with fish. So they feel like the service delivery is not being delivered the way they expect it to be. Uh, the way they expect it to be, but someone is coming. I'm glad he understands it. And seeking Aslam. And it's not even, it shouldn't even be like, no. They shouldn't even be mad at them. They should be mad at the government, which some people righteously are. But, like, it's, it's with everything. You can't play the player, hate the game. And getting the money, yet the local people are not getting anything. Uh, you see those kind of things. Uh, that's what you have to expect. It's not easy. And you come here, they don't give accommodation. You'll be in the streets. 
If you ask Dante, we've been like struggling to find a place to sleep. Some places for you to do anything, the banks whatsoever, it needs your ID and they take you all that. So you won't be having anything. You can't open an account, you can't do what. They give you tents to sleep. So, you know, I'm saying this to my African brothers because I know people who are coming to this site are not poor people in Africa. Uh, it's people who are financially stable in Africa because if you calculate the price, don't tell of the plane from Africa to here, it's actually expensive. So it's not poor people who are coming to Africa. It's like financially stable people who are coming to this site but expecting something else which is not there. That's my message to my African brothers. It's not like that. It's not the land of honey you expect. You be given a tent. Imagine where you are now in Africa. You stay in your house, you're eating what you're eating, and then you come to the side with your suitcase. They tell you you have to sleep in a tent. Imagine that, sleeping in a tent. It's not it, it's not it. Because, yeah, it's land of honey to them because their grandfathers prepared this land for them, for their grand-grandchildren to enjoy, not us to enjoy. So let's not take our problems and make it their problems. Days after the riot and the crowns paint fuck... Not gonna lie, it was pretty mature of him. Whoever that was was very intellectual. Tree has been sat on well, floor spoken. twice. Dean and Mo are still looking for accommodation. And I personally don't know how the situation in Ireland will resolve, but my heart certainly goes out to those affected. Yeah, man, that's, that's, that's a crazy situation. Yeah, somebody like me looking from the outside in, I really don't have no, can't, I can't really voice a crazy opinion, like, you know what I'm saying? But I could give my, I could, I could say what I said. See, I'll leave a like, comment on both.